Welcome to United by Trucks. Well, me and my family slipped away for a little secluded vacation down in South Florida. Obviously, you can see my son skimboarding back there. But we wanted to bring you some really, really cool trucks from the Submit Your Truck series. So, hope you guys enjoy this awesome collection of trucks submitted. And if you guys are going to be in Lebanon, Tennessee, July 11th, that's this Saturday for the Southeastern Truck Nationals, come look us up. We'll be there. But let's jump right into this episode of Submit Your Truck right here on United by Trucks. Hi, my name is Emerson. I'm from a little town called Gaines, Michigan, and I'm 12 years old. Uh, this is my uh, custom 10. It uh, doesn't have the original 307. We put a uh, 305 in there. It's got Edelbrock uh, carb and performer intake. Um, aftermarket air conditioning. It's a tennis. It's originally a Tennessee truck. Uh, low miles. Uh, not much rust. It's got 51,405 miles. I've been practicing driving around the yard, so I'll add a couple miles there. It originally started off life as a uh, long bed, but my dad and brother and I cut it down to a uh, short bed. You have a custom exhaust. It has a uh, 12 volt rear end. Um. I want to do a uh, air ride, LS swap. I'd like to get some uh, wheels and tires for it. Maybe a new interior. Uh, maybe another paint job. Hi, Robbie. My name's Paul. I live in London, England. And this is my 1984 GMC C1500. Truck came out of Georgia about two years ago. It's got a um, flip kit in the rear. I put the poly bushes on it. It's got CPP control arms. It's got one inch drop springs. It's got two inch drop spindles. Uh, I've changed a lot of, lots of different parts on it. A lot of steering components, so everything's been replaced. Um, quick ratio steering box from Borgeson on it. Other than that, it was just like change the fluids and, um, and drive, really. I think at one point it was a colour combination the same as TTR's truck. Did have a step bumper on the back at one point as well. We got a smooth bumper for it, managed to get hold of that. Interior on the truck. There's a couple of different colours when I got hold of it, but it's all black now. Um, the headlining was missing, so they just painted that black. That's the um, original tag. I think you may know the guy that owned it before me. Change the steering wheel as well, of recent. Yeah, it's got a 350 in it. I think it was a 305 at one point, 700 R4. Uh, like I said, I just changed all the fluids when I got it. Super solid truck, no rust in it. Uh, I'm really, really pleased with it. Drives nice. Especially with the poly bushes and the new control arms. So I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to uh, miss the, the black cabs and the, and the cyclists. But there we go. Right, and there's a famous crossing. Right, take care. Thanks for giving us a chance to um, submit the videos. Bye now. Take care. My name is Ruben Trevino. I'm from Amarillo, Texas, and this is my 1993 Chevrolet 1500 with a T5 manual transmission. It's got a 5.7 liter engine, crate motor with a mild cam. Sits on a 3 4 drop, has tubular air arms in the front. Shackles and hangers in the back. We've got 20 by 8.5 in the front and 20 by 10 in the back. Some Riddlers. This is a Dodge Viper Blue, uh, color from 94 through 96. Mine has the white stripes, of course. It's got a Linex liner, all new glass, all stock on the inside. There's that five speed manual.
I'm the second owner. Bought this pickup from a, one of my customers. I'm a letter carrier. And uh, used to be teal green at one time. There's the correct motor and all the accessories are brand new. Love the channel. Thank you for allowing us from small towns in America to showcase our trucks. There's the uh, front end. I've got the uh, Super Sport uh, fog lights. And there you have it, guys. Hey, everybody, and uh, thanks to UBT for putting this on because I love to talk about this truck. It's my 1979 Chevy C20 crew cab camper special. This is a real deal Iowa truck. It's been used and abused. It was a, had a fifth wheel on it to haul a camper for many years. Uh, it's got the 454 turbo 400. Uh, it's all original. Nothing's been changed. Hardly anything's been fixed. I use it for hauling stuff right now. I'd love to have big plans for this truck. But it's got a lot of work that needs to be done. But it runs great. I got it back on the road. 454 big block, all original. Even the Quadrajet is still on it. And it runs great. Hopefully, I'll have it for many, many years. Keep using it a lot longer. Thanks, guys. Hello, UBT. Uh, coming to you from uh, California. Beautiful day today. Um, this is my 1968 C10 GMC Suburban. Yes, I know it looks like a 67, but it's not. It's a 68. Um, just had a new paint job on it. Put a new uh, power plant in. And we got some uh, tubular control arms on it. CPP, we got uh, four-wheel disc brakes on it. Um, put in a Dakota Digital dashboard. There's that, I like the stock steering wheel. Got some seats here, reupholstered. There's my back seat and I got a third row too in the garage, just haven't put it in yet. Um, here is a, swapped out the fuel filler I like this guy a little better than the, that uh, hub cap that's on there and uh, there she is we're putting a little a little wood in the back and I started putting the uh, sound deadener in gonna put all new sound deadener in and uh, finish her up thanks for seeing my video What's up, everybody? My 97K1500 Lord. It's a uh, LS2, well, 6 0 LQ9 uh, BQRR cam kit. Uh, headers, uh, stainless, 3 inch exhaust all the way to the back. Uh, intro wheels, 20 by 10, all the way around, needles. Uh, truck was my buddy's, bought it from him, and then been working on it, but it's... Interior's all clean. Original, got a little rip right here. It is 4x4, all wood drive. So I just got my AC done. 
the lines. I did all the bracket ICT stuff. But uh, yeah, man, she boogies. She's a street truck out the light. by trucks what's up guys this is joe ramirez from pasadena texas love the show this is my truck leon he is a 1980 gmc i believe uh sierra classic he may not be i don't know i just put the badge on there uh so basically what i've been doing with this truck is just putting every favorite piece to every uh different year square body man just doing uh, little things you know my own way the grill's 73, 74, I believe. The lights are round, opposed to the one square. The badges are, you know, older than the 80. Um, the interior is out of a Suburban. Um, you know, I'm just putting it together, man. Trying to do it my own way. Right now, he's sitting on a 22 inch, 22 by nine, 22 by 11, polished torque thrust by American Racing. Um, they were grateful enough to hook me up with those wheels for this last uh, LST show. I missed you guys there. I saw y'all's trucks, but didn't get a chance to stop by and talk with y'all. Um, but we unveiled these wheels at their American Racing booth. Um, I've also got these bad boys, man. They look great on this truck. Uh, but yeah, man, Ride Tech shocks, custom shock mounts you see there. Dual exhaust, SLP loudmouth, headers, cam, Brodex aluminum heads, Holly 750, uh, Victor Jr. intake. You know, all the stuff that you would have done to this truck, you know, years ago. You know, I just recently painted the interior, put these screws in there, trying to add some flare to it. Flare, come on. Thanks guys, love the show. This is my 1972 Chevy K10. I've owned this truck for 30 years. It has a three inch exhaust, has disc brakes front and rear, 15 by 10 rally wheels. Bumper guards up front. Complete restoration was done on this truck in 2012. And under the hood, it has a 427 big block with a B&M supercharger, hooker headers, aluminum radiator with electric fans. Interior's all been redone, new gauges, aftermarket air, flat screen stereo. Thank you. All right, what's up, United by Trucks? I just wanted to uh, submit my 1957 3100. Uh, please don't call it an Apache. It's a task force. So this is actually a second build. This is a truck my dad and I built when I was in high school back in the early 80s. So uh, this truck here is going to be what I would have liked to that first one to have been. on here for the chassis we've got a classic performance products mustang ifs kit uh, disc brakes gives me about a four inch six inch drop uh, front to rear it's also got the matching rear leaf kit the tire wheel combo on this is a uh, 17 by 7 all the way around american legends uh, sitting on a 225 on the interior of this it's going to keep it stock going to recover the factory seat um, keep the original steering column basically gonna look like it rolled off the showroom in 57 gonna put a vintage air kit in it make it nice to drive every day this is Phoenix it gets hot here this cab has a lot of rust in it um, there's a lot of a lot of repair that needed to be made so because of that I ended up getting another cab that I'm currently working on getting it ready to do the swap 
these cabs. So this will actually be the cab that gets used in the truck. It's a, it's a lot, uh, it's a lot uh, cleaner, a lot less rust. Still needs a little bit of work, but overall it's in way better shape. On the on the bed of the truck, I'm, I'm kind of using it for storage right now. I'm doing all of this in a one a one car garage space, if you will. So it's a lot of storage right now. Uh, it's got diamond plate in the bed of it right now, but I'm gonna. There's actually wood under that. I'm gonna kind of curious to see what that's gonna look like. I'm not real sure yet. At some point, I'm gonna strip that out of there. So the drivetrain on this is gonna be the original 235 that's here on the stand. I'm gonna do a little hot rod, old school style build on it. Do a split manifold, run dual exhaust on it. I'm gonna set it up uh, for a dual carb setup. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go with a one barrel or two barrel yet, but it's definitely gonna be a dual carb setup. Um, electronic ignition, uh, basically put a little bit of compression in it, just make it a good everyday driver. Well, behind the motor on that, that we just talked about that 235, we're gonna be doing a T5 swap on it. I'm actually in the process right now of doing a, a Jeep input shaft on that so I can use my factory bell housing and a clutch kit on that. Uh, and then I'll have a, a five speed with an overdrive again to make that a good daily driver. This is gonna be my only transportation when it's all uh, Thanks everybody. I just wanted to submit my truck, show you what I'm working on. If, uh, if you like it, please follow me on Second Chance 57 on YouTube and Instagram. Thanks guys. This is uh, my 1997 Chevy C1500. It's all original paint except for the front and rear bumper and the grill. They've been color matched, match the truck, and the two inch cow induction hood. It's been dropped two in the front, four in the back. I've been working on it about a year now. I put uh, the factory seats out of an extended cab truck in it, buckets, covered them in leather. Uh, the engine's out of a uh, 2018 Denali. It's uh, the L86 6.2 liter with a eight speed transmission. Motor had 10,000 miles on it. Really like the content on the United by Trucks. You guys keep up the good work. Thank you. Hello folks, today we're sharing our 1972 Chevy C10 Super Cheyenne. Bought this truck about 27 years ago and drove it daily for many years back and forth to work. And it did all sorts of work and hauling for us. And slowly I finally kind of retired it a little bit to cruising and doing some cruise ends with it and uh, just taking it out for fun drives. It's powered by a 350 crate engine uh, that was installed also about 20 years ago. The uh, transmission rear end and most of the suspension is still original. Uh, the hurricane wheels were added about the same time that the engine went into it. 
and did a few dress up items to it at that time, but it still retains most of its, its OE parts. Truck runs and drives great. Um, inside the cab, did add a later model steering wheel just for a little more comfort. Um, it still has its original cluster, uh, radio, dash pad, and carpet are all surviving, as well as the headliner. Um, currently, too, we're also building a 71 short wheelbase, the full frame off. Restoration coming soon as an addition to it. Uh, between my grandfather, my dad, my sons, and myself, it's four generations of C10 owners. So these old trucks kind of get in your blood, to say the least. 84 Chevy C10 short wheelbase. Full inch drop on the front, six in the rear. 5.3 uh, LS swap from my old Ford Silverado. Uh, this, this color was originally, truck was originally red, now it's a gold GM mist. Uh, my interior, I kept all the factory door panels, seats, dash, I just got them reupholstered under the dash AC. It was originally a heat truck only. Uh, here goes the, see the engine tucked in really good. The, Decided to put the uh, PMC on the front end, in front of the uh, windshield wiper uh, control module. And you see the AC tucked in there real good with a delete plate. Well, uh, um, cleaning and uh, painting. Here, so I can match the truck. Just some 24 inch IROX. Future projects and getting the uh, uh, rear disc brakes put on, uh, complete rear end, limited slip. I uh, got my bumpers tucked in. May get those painted, those original. May get those painted the same color of the truck. Spray in, spray in belt liner. She turned out pretty good. Let me know what you think. 84 C10 short wheelbase. 68 Chevy C10 Long bed Original paint It was originally all green Added the rear chrome bumper recently Bed Normal as always Height, right height Stock. Pretty much stock inside. Nothing too special at all. Four speed manual. A new seat cover. Still smells like an old truck. Got a look. Yeah, it hurts. Uh, close three fifty uh, GM crate motor, mm, pretty stock quadrijet heater that doesn't work, but she starts, so I gotta love that. We got a wires, a uh, rat's nest of wiring. That's a good time. A um, few months owned and all kinds of things to do to her. So, thank you very much. Got a 68 Chevy 307 Longhorn. One owner. I bought it. 68. It'll crank right up. I just need to put some little bit of gas in the carburetor. And she'll fire right up. 
got a four speed. It's all inside, pretty decent shape. And this is a Longhorn. Got that extension on the bed. It's made for a camper. This is what it is, a custom camper. Oh, it's dark in here, you can see that. It's a 20. I guess it was equal to a 20 back in the day. It's got an eight and a half foot bed. They call it a Longhorn. That is, it was painted about 30 years ago. The engine's all original. Never been touched except for a rear main about 40 years ago. The wife got complaining about leaking oil in the driveway. Never had the valve covers off. Cue the music! 